Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I'm going to show you what are all basic validations we can perform on XML response. So as part of this, I'll show you first how we can verify the single content in the XML response and then how we can verify the multiple contents in the XML response. Then I will also show you how we can verify all the content in the XML response in one go. And then we'll see the little bit about X path or XML path, how we can find values using XML path in XML response. And finally, we'll see the text method, how we can use this text method or function inside the X path. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to create uh, one more test inside our project and package. So this is a package which is created in the last sessions. Now right click on this particular package, create a new test. So I'm just giving this test name is let's say demo six underscore. These are the basic validations under XML format. So basic validations which we can perform on XML. So I'm just giving XML. So let's click on the finish. So now it is created a new class. So now I'm going to perform uh, these actions. These are the different operations which we are, which are I'm going to perform. So the first thing is verifying the single content in XML response, how we can do that. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you uh, one API. So let me just uh, use that particular API in the browser. So this is my API request. So when I send this particular request, this will give you XML response. So basically whatever ID we have passed here 15. So this is giving the required data here. And when I say pass here 10. So this is my 10 I'm passing here. Then it will give you the record of 10. Okay. So this is a basic uh, response. We got it. So when I say 15 here, it will go and get the 15. So this is the XML response. So now how we can verify certain things on this XML response. Now we'll see that. So let's go and see how uh, let's go and create uh, one first test method. I'll say void. I'll say void test test single content. So I'm verifying the single content inside my test. So I'm specifying this as at the rate uh, test annotation. So the test engine will execute this particular method only if we specify the test annotation. So testing single content. So here we need to specify the different sections. So the first section is a given section where we need to specify the prerequisites. And after that, when, so inside we need to specify the type of request. And then we have to specify the then section here. We need to specify the validations. So as I said, if I don't have any prerequisite given section is optional. Even we don't need to specify the given nothing will happen. So now when you start with the when keyword. So when you use this particular keywords, we need to import proper package rest assured package. So let me just copy those two static packages. So these are the two static packages which we need to import. So I O rest assured dot rest assured dot star and org dot hamcrest dot matches dot star. So now we can start using these keywords. So in the given session, there is no prerequisites. So inside the when section, I will send a request that is get request. So what is a get request I'm sending here is uh, this is the same request. This is a request I'm sending. So put it here. So now the get method will send this request. So once it is sent the request, then we need to capture the response. So normally response is there in the XML format, especially for this particular API request. So in the then session, we need to verify the body. So what, what I'm going to verify here is, Suppose when I ping this particular request, it is giving this particular XML code as a body. So I want to verify some content in this particular response. So I want to verify the ID is 15 or not because I'm passing ID 15 as a parameter, but inside this body response also, we need to check whether the ID value is 15 or not. So how we can verify that. So to verify this, we need to write an XML path. So in the previous example, I shown you JSON path how we can capture the, how we can use JSON path to extract that value. And because this is the XML file, we need to use XML path, but how we can write XML path is very simple. So what is the root tag here is customer. So inside the customer, there is an ID tag, then another tag is. So now let us see how we can uh, capture this value from ID. So just, we need to specify the hierarchy inside the customer. So ID is available, right? So we can specify the 
XML path. So how we can specify inside the then keyword, let's say body and here body. So here the customer is a root tag, right? So I'll say customer in the double quotations and this is a case sensitive. Okay. Customer dot ID. So inside the customer root tag, the ID is available. So this will give you exact value from XML and this value should equal to, I'll say equal to method. So I'll say equal to equal to and it should be 15 right so this is my expectation and after that you can also log all the information and say log dot all so this command will log all the information all the response body simple okay so what i have done is i have sent a request by using get method here and i've captured the uh, i have just captured the customer id so customer is my root node in xml dot id which is equal to 15. Now, if the customer ID is exactly equal to 15, my test will pass, otherwise fail. So along with this verification, I also logging all the information. So this is my test case. Now let us execute and see how it will execute. So let's run as test ng test. So once I have executed, my test is executing. Now my test should pass. Okay, so now my test case is passed. So test a single content. Now if you see the output because I send log dot all also, right? So this is given all the information here, headers information and the response body. So this is my response body. So here it is ID value 15. Okay. So this is how we can send the request. So this is how we can verify the single value in my XML response. Suppose if you want to verify the multiple values, so multiple value in the sense, I want to verify the first name, last name, state, city, all the stuff. So then how we can do that. So let me just create one more test. So again, uh, I'm taking the same thing, same test and just copying here and I'll give the priority. So the first test I'm giving priority is equal to one and the second test I'm giving priority is equal to two. Now test multiple contents, multiple contents. So now I'll slightly change this method. So given keyword is option, we don't have anything here. So when get, when I send this particular request, now we got the complete response, right? So when I send the same method, first method when I execute, I got the same response. So ID, first name, last name, street, city. But this time I want to verify ID along with the first name, last name and street, city, everything. Okay, so how we can do that now? So let me just go to Eclipse. So here, uh, I'll just slightly change here. So log all will be removed here. I'm just removing this. So previously we verified only customer ID, which is equal to this one. But this time I need to verify all the content in the XML response, all the content or multiple contents. So here I'll say customer ID equal to 15, then same make one more entry like this. same statement write multiple times so the second entry will be the customer dot first name i want to verify so this is your first name and what is the first name i'm expecting the first name should be bill so i'm just say bill here now what is the next value last name i'm verifying so customer dot last name customer dot last name should be equal to clancy so i'll say clancy here now the last value is street and I'll say street here and which should be equal to this is the one. So this is how my street. So I'll say street and we have one more value. That is the last value that is city. So I can add one more statement and here I'll say city and city should be seated. So I'll say seated here. So we can have multiple body sections, but the last statement should end with the semicolon. So this is how we can verify the multiple contents in the response. So the same API request will give you multiple contents. So if you want to verify only single content, this one entry is enough, either ID, first name, last name or whatever. But if you want to verify multiple contents, you need to specify the exact nodes which are there inside the customer root tag and the expected value we can include inside the equal to method. So this is how we can verify the multiple contents inside the XML response, verifying the multiple contents inside the XML response. So let's execute this particular test. Now here I'm not logging anything.
just I'm verifying all the content is correct or not. If everything is correct, my test will pass. Now run as test ng test. So once we have executed, now my test is running. So first it will execute the first test method. So that is single test content and then test multiple contents. So my test multiple contents test is passed. So this is how we can verify the multiple contents inside the XML response. Okay, we need to just specify the XML path and value inside the equal to method. So this is how we can specify the multiple contents. We can verify the multiple contents in the XML. Now, instead of writing multiple steps, we can also write everything in one line. Okay, so that's how verifying all the content in XML response in one go. How we can do that? So verifying all the content uh, in XML response in one go. So I'm just copying the same code again and a slightly instead of writing multiple steps here, multiple bodies verification, I can just write a single statement. So here I'm just uh, giving some name. So test multiple consents in one go. So I'm just giving priority is equal to three, right? So now the same request I'm sending, but instead of writing multiple things, so what I will do is I will just write only one thing. Instead of using this ID, I'm using a method called a text. So here I'm using a method called as a text. So I'll say T E X T. So this is a small letter again. So customer dot E, this is an X path function. So this is X path function or we can say method. So text dot equal to, so here I can specify the all the values one after another within the single quote. So for example, the first value is 15. So I'll say 15 is first value and followed by will don't give any semicolons or commas anything just pass all the values as a text format so complete value i am passing so then finally ctl right so this is a value so now we can see here the entire customer id first name last name street and city the combinedly have passed as a single value so now the customer dot text method will give you all the values and which is exactly equal to this one is not it will verify so basically whatever values we are lent in the tags will be considered as a one text okay so that's the reason text method will combine the text and will return the return value will be equal to this particular text value so this particular statement will verify all the contents at one go in one go okay now let us execute and check here save and I'll make this priority three. So one, two is already done. So this is a third test. So let's execute here. Right click, run as test ng test. So now it is executed. Now we can see now test multiple contents in one go is also passed. Test multiple contents in one go is passed. Okay, so we can use text method like this. So text method can be captured the entire XML format into text format. Whatever content is there in XML, the text will be combined and considered as a text format. So we can also verify the complete text in one go. So this is how we can use a text method to verify the all the content in the XML file. Okay. So now I'm going to show you uh, different uh, things which we can use in XPath. So we have just seen uh, how to use X text function. And now I'm going to show you how to find the values uh, using XML path uh, in response. XML path in response, okay? Let me put this point here. So we discussed the fourth one and now last one. So find the values using XML path in XML response. So now I'm going to use this particular, I'm going to find certain values from XML response using XML path and different ways we can use this XML path. Now I'm going to show you one example here. So let's write one more test case. So here I'm going to show you how to find the values using XML path in XML response body. So this is another one. So let me put it here. So yeah, yeah, find the values using XML path in XML response. So find the values in XML path uh, in XML response body or XML response. Now I'm creating one more test here. So I'll say 
uh, wide test uh, using uh, X path. I'll say one. So I'll make it as at the rate test annotation and I will give priority is equal to four and test using XPath one. So I'll, I'll go, I'm going to show you the different type of XPath, how we can use. So here customer.text function we have used. Similarly, we can also use different various uh, uh, flavors of XPath. Now in this example, again, I'm taking the same, I'm just copying the same stuff. So again, this time I'm sending the same request and this will give you the data about the 15th record, right? So here, uh, previously I verified the only ID, right? So if you want to verify the first name, this is a statement we have to write. So this time I'm going to write your first name. So inside the then section, body customer dot first name equal to bill. So this is how we can just verify, right? So this is a verify. We can verify the customer name. But uh, instead of writing customer dot first name, we can also use XPath. So how we can write an XPath? So we can also write XPath like this, slash customer and slash first name. Because this XML file, everything is a tag, right? So slash is a root tag, customer slash inside this first name is there. If you see the XML file inside the customer, so there is a tag called first name. Okay, so this is XML format. So this is a XML path. And uh, now here we need to write contains a screen. There is a new method I'm using. Contains, contains a string. And which, which string it should have? Bill is a string. Now close the bracket. So this is uh, another way we can uh, check the content of the body. So body inside this and here this value we need to put inside one more method guys. Has X path has x path so has x path and this is a spelling mistake p is uppercase letter has x path is a function has x path this is my x path comma this x path should contain the string bill so that's i'm expecting so this x path contains this particular string is available or not it will verify so has x path so this is another way of verifying the value which is present inside the x path so here we are basically finding the value. So this value is present inside the XPath or not, right? So let us execute this particular code and we'll verify. So here priority four test using XPath one, right? So let's execute run as test ng test. Now my test is executed. So now we can see test using XPath is passed. So because we have already a uh, few more test cases, right? So it is not executed. So let's execute one more time. Run as test ng test. Okay, so because I have selected this test method, so it is executed only that test method. So let me save it everything and execute all of them. So three, this is priority four, right? So let's execute. Right click, run as test ng test. So now this time it will execute all the test methods, right? So now test a single content, test multiple contents, multiple contents is one go. Finally test using XPath one is executed and it is passed. So we can also use has XPath method. Okay, so this will verify in this particular XPath, this particular value is having or not. So that it will verify. So this is a one way of uh, using XPath function along with the contains string. So now I'm going to show you one more uh, way of using XPath. So let me just, uh, this time I'm going to use a, a different one, different API request. So we have seen find values using XML path in XML response. And I will show you the one more example for the same thing. So I'll say void test using and XPath two. Okay, one is already created, so this is two. So inside this method, I'm making it as a test annotation. Again, it is priority. Let's say priority is equal to five, right? So here I'm again going to copy the same stuff, but this time I'm sending a different API request. So this time I'm going to send a different request like this invoice. So this is thomas buyercom SQL rest invoice. So when I send this particular request, it is retaining a lot of data. 
So there is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are different texts are there. Till 49, it is there. Right? So now, in this particular response, I want to verify certain value or something or 27 or 30 or certain, certain value is there or not, I want to verify. So how we can do that? So see that. So here, inside this body, and again, same method has path. So here, slightly I will change. So what is the root tag here? Invoice list is my root tag. So instead of customer, I'll say invoice list. This is my root tag. So inside this, there are so many invoice tags are there. So I'm just specifying the one of the invoice tag, invoice. So inside this invoice, I'm verifying something should be there. So let's say I want to verify or 30 should be there or not. So here I can verify the text method. I can use a text method inside the bracket. So here invoice inside the square bracket text method. I can use it. Text should be equal to in the single quotation specify the value. Okay. So we don't record all these things. So now this is another way of using your X bar. So inside the invoice list root tag invoice is sub tag inside this within the invoice tags somewhere the 30 should be there or not i'm verifying by using text function text is equal to 30. so it will verify in this particular location somewhere 30 should be there or not it will verify so here i need to change the uh, api url so this is my url i'm going to use okay so after that i will also if you want to log all the information you can also log so dot log and dot all and semicolon okay so we should remove the semicolon here because this is the last statement right so this is my test cases now we'll see how we can execute this so this is test using xpath2 so one is already done and this is xpath2 so this is how we can find the values using xml path this is called as xml path or we can also say xpath okay now let's execute so run as testing the test So now I have executed. So now my test case is executed and passed. Now using XML2 path is also passed. And it is also given the complete response. Now we can see all the invoice data. So whatever response we got it will be displayed here because we specified the log.all method here. Okay. So this is how we can also write different ways of XPaths to verify the data in the response or we capture the data from the response or we can specify the single content or multiple contents. So we can do a lot of verifications or validations on your response. So especially in this example, I focused on XML response. Okay. So we have seen how we can verify the single content, multiple content, all the content in single go. And also we have seen how to find the values using XML path. And we have seen how to use a text function. So along with the text function, I also introduced you equal to function. And then one more function we use has xpath function. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. So thanks for watching.